guys, welcome back. This is Carter. It's been a busy day today. Not much time to work on the mining stuff. I know I'm killing myself also with it, but I had a lot of fam stuff to do. It was a Sunday. So you're gonna get this video tonight and I'm just gonna take you through. I'm going out of town tomorrow. So I'm gonna be taking the gear with me. We're gonna do some more discussions about some of the stuff that you guys have asked me about. Specific around, you know, where's point proof of stake going? Where, what are we gonna do with this kind of stuff? You know, more tactical discussions when it comes to the actual coins themselves and some of the features. I'm gonna try to go through our interpretation, our understanding of it, in addition to some of the stuff that, from a coding side that we look into, the stuff that doesn't even get to the normal BBT video. We're gonna pack up and go out of town and I'm gonna kinda of go through what, what entails with that, what gear are we bring in with us, that kind of stuff. So, hang out. So this is one piece of gear that is actually not coming with me on my trip. Just the particular area that I'm going to, they kind of frown on bringing drones. So, uh, I'm gonna be in the DC metro area, DC uh, District of Columbia. So, yeah, this is an area that you usually don't wanna fly a drone. Um, so, this will stay home on this trip, but we will be bringing other camera equipment and uh, I just wanted to show, you know, when the, what we use when we're getting some of the aerial footage and some of the videos. And this is a twin remote control unit. This is the case that we put it in. It's a hard case, can travel. You can put that under the plane if you need to. It's an actual hard case um, that works out real well for it. We'll go more of a deeper dive. I'll do a separate video on this particular kind of a review of Zorts uh, and the other channel that we're gonna be linking below. One of the other cool tools that we use is this DJI Osmo. So what this thing does is let you get some pretty cool shots using your cell phone as essentially the operating system device. You can plug this little guy into the side of the Osmo and then you can use the drone camera. You know, just kind of pivot the drone up, take the, the camera back off, right underneath here. That lets the camera come right off. And then that wonderful little toy plugs into the Osmo. Lines up. And then you actually can lock in some pretty cool 4k footage on a gimbaled system so now that's locked and if i go ahead and turn the osmo on i don't know if this thing has any battery power but once that turns on which it doesn't have any battery power i need to add some get it hooked up put your phone in right there what kind of locks with that little guy right there phone goes in there and then this thing's on a gimbal and you have a little joystick right here and then you can get these really nice smooth shots using the 4k camera from the drone which is pretty cool so we're gonna be taking some shots with that one of the things i'll say about it though without a zoom lens you know you kind of got to get in there and and to get the shot but just another tool you know absolutely not needed to be honest with you if you're getting into vlogging or whatever um, but it does give us some good consistent shots if i'm doing the drone and then i'm going to do some ground stuff and i don't want a huge image difference i'll switch over to the osmo and allow me to get some of the good shot footage and then it, the transition's the same because it's the same camera. Oh, and of course, uh, you gotta have a lot of batteries. So this is like a four battery charging station that's uh, good for about an hour and a half, two hours almost of video. I mean, these things are about 20, 20 22 minutes a piece. So, you know, maybe an hour and a half worth of uh, drone footage. Um, and the case that we have holds the four. So anymore, we'd have to do some creative stuff with a adding more battery space or add another case. And I'm trying not to do that. So whatever shots we do with the drone, usually are an hour and a half at max. So this is some of the other gear that we use for the filming. This is a Sony AX33. It's the FDR AX33. It's 4K camcorder. We got one of the grip mounts. You know, tripods. You know, Casey Neistat uses that a lot. I actually got that recommendation from him. One of his videos. And then a Rode mic to pick up all the audio. 
So I'm filming this with a GoPro Hero Black right now to get this shot, but to kind of give you an idea. And one of the other comments too was some folks asking, what do we do with some of the older graphics cards, the ones that are became super inefficient with some of the newer stuff? And you can see this rig right behind. You can't really see with the reflection here, but we turn this into a gaming machine. You know, put just put an i7, you know, water cooled processor in there, and then added the 295x2, which you know that's a 50 mega hash miner, but it uses a ton of power. And last but not least, we have a couple of Hero 4 Blacks with about six extra batteries and the wireless remote. And this is really for those kind of candid shots. If You know, I was doing a lot of autocrossing before, so I'd have like car mounts and I was using these for that. These are the big waterproof cases with the actual screens on the back, the heroes. Um, not a lot with the mining, a couple of the time lapses build we do with these um the gopro's battery is kind of crap so it doesn't last real real long so you you, you got to switch out batteries quite often but you know if you want a quick and you know you're about to do something kind of gnarly um not too much in mining you're going to be doing that's gnarly but um you know they're still good you know if you want to get multiple angles on a shot and stuff so that kind of wraps up the the kind of camera setups that we use for our channel. And for the mobile rendering, since I'm gonna be out of town, I just had to pick up a new laptop. My other laptop was about done, so got a new Alienware 17 R4. It's the new seventh gen. This is like the top of the top that you can get. Bottom line, I just wanted to have something that was fast enough to do video rendering. I am not a Mac user, I know I know, I know, but bottom line, I needed something that could run Adobe Premiere. That's what we use to do a lot of rendering that with more than enough power and speed. This thing's got 64 gigs of RAM on it. It's got the, the class 50 uh, solid state. Um, you Off of Alienware, you can buy them with 40s. I went in and put the class 50 uh, one terabyte solid state, and then it's got a one terabyte spindle drive for just extra storage um, and it's got the 1080 GTX sorry it's actually got the 1070 this has got the 1070 I could not get the 1080 and get it shipped here in time so this is the 1070 version which should be enough still for my rendering and last but not least the actual main desktop rendering stations a newer Ryzen I talked about it in the last uh, video when I was at Micro Center we got it kind of fixed over clock. It bumps up to 4.1 and some change. Right now it's holding about four gigahertz. But 16 core, it's eight core, actual physical, and then eight virtual. So it is the 1800X. And then I'll throw some night shot on this because I don't have the, the functionality of the lighting over here. But this is the rendering arm of bits be tripping so you know a high quality power supply it does not need this level of power supply in here this is a 1600 t2 when i bought a bulk of these for some uh, you know the big uh 390x rigs but ended up not building as many and so i wanted something that was at least clean power but this has got a pair of the evga gtx classifieds the reason why I went with these, these are the highest like natural clocked versions of the 1080s. Um, they just came out with the 1080 Ti's and maybe we'll bump up. But right now these 1080 um, EVGA's I got it running at 2133 core. So stock they're 17 and some change. So these things are super, super overclocked. Um, then the water cooled, that's the H115i water cooler from Corsair on the Ryzen. And then this thing has got a pair of one terabyte solid states. I actually got those in RAID 0. And then I have a five terabyte hard drive um, for spindle uh, stuff. So uh, again, nothing's really stored on this machine. This is purely, I just wanted as fast as I could from the rendering side. I tried it both with non-rated and rated and the rated it's just, it's noticeably faster when it comes to scratch disc. Um, so we went with the rated solid states. For normal usage, you would never need to do that. 
but I wanted the actual fastest render time I could get and short of going way crazy the walls. This thing's about a $3,100, $3,200 machine. So if you get into like having like a P6000 NVIDIA render card or something like that, now you're talking, you know, six to $8,000 machine. So this is a $3,300, $3,200 computer uh, for our rendering. And it also does crazy things with games too, if uh, games are your thing. So every once in a while we'll get on the Mass Effect multiplayer or something like that but it is the pretty much the top tier short of going with the 6950x from intel um but you're going to spend 1500 dollars just on that processor yes i know you guys were looking forward to these builds and with having to travel that kind of sucks and yes i want to very much put this six card rig together when we get back we will be putting this together and maybe we'll even do it on a live stream we'll see about th thursday ish maybe we can get that back I'm, i should be coming back into town on thursday so um i am going back out of town right after that i'm actually taking the fam down to disney um so i'll be in the florida area um and we'll be doing some filming down there maybe we'll take a i think they have fries down there so I, I'm making sure I have enough space just in case if I pick up some new hardware down there. And we will definitely put a video out on that for sure. Um, so anybody down in Florida, hey, what's up? I'm going to be in your in your neighborhood. Um, we're going to let this one still cook and, and grind and see if we can do some optimizations with it before I get on the flight tomorrow. But I'll be, again, doing the vlog from D.C. area and... Uh, See if we can find some uh, good stores and see if we can find some good hardware for it. So uh, I keep looking at the viewfinder. I know under I understand now why Casey uses glasses. This whole vlog thing is interesting because um, you keep looking at yourself in the viewfinder. Hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, share, spread the love. Get us some subscribers out there and we'll bring you some more good content. Sorry there wasn't a lot of mining related content in this particular vlog. Um, with us going out of town, we need to get everything packed up, get it ready to go. But I wanted to make sure I got a video out to you today and kind of take you through kind of our operations when it comes to just the content, you know, machines that we're providing from. So that didn't make any sense, but whatever. This is live. It's a blog and I'm not editing it. Catch you guys later. Bye. Yeah, I have a dream.